I love you. Hey guys, hope you're going well. So Solo A Star Wars Story is the Star Wars film that seems to have fans feeling a little bit fatigued by the whole franchise in general. It is a spin-off prequel movie that fans didn't really want. From people staunchly believing that no one else besides Harrison Ford can play Han Solo, the devilish scoundrel with a heart of gold. Then there were a lot of mutterings and speculations during the whole production, especially when Young Gun directors Phil Lloyd and Christopher Miller, the directors behind the Lego movie and 21 Jump Street were unceremoniously booted out due to creative differences and instead in stepped in the older and wiser and safer directing choice Ron Howard to finish the job. As for me, I was sitting in that meh camp of these standalone anthology episodes. As for Rogue One, which we saw last year, the year before last, I really liked it. I'm going to stand by and defend that movie. I thought it was a really solid standalone mission that wedged in that fan service to the overarching Star Wars narrative, which was totally fine. And I enjoyed it. In terms of Solo, a Star Wars story, oh, I was really... I was really on the fence about it. And then when Lloyd and Miller got booted off the project, I pretty much lowered my expectations even further. Let's back it up. Let's start from the beginning here. So we've got um, Alden Ehrenreich playing the young and handsome Han. There's Kira, his old flame played by Amelia Clark. And as you would expect from what is essentially a Han Solo origin story, which is dealing with a character that is so well established, spanning like multiple movies over many decades. It decides to go back and answer all your burning backstory questions. Like how did Han meet Chewie? How did Han first get the Millennium Falcon or win it from Lando? Played excellently by Donald Glover, by the way. What they have done right though, is try and keep the bones of this story to a heist genre film, which is very smart. So all the colorful characters that Han meets along the way and the tough lessons learned about loyalty and doing the right thing. The film looks Looks incredible. The production design is like knocked out of the park as well as those action sequences. It's the Kessel Run that we all knew was coming and that is a really like fun, huge chunk of the movie dedicated just to that and that was definitely my favorite standout of the whole film. Erin Reich is a standout Han for me. I see those Harrison Ford quirks that he's copied but he's also really brought his own flair which I appreciate because it wouldn't work if he just mimicked Harrison Ford's version of Han. He has embodied it and made it his own. As for Amelia Clark, that was just really safe, safe, generic casting. She is really sweet and cute, but just bland. Sorry, no, wasn't buying that. Anybody else feeling a bit of a yawn factor with uh, the Star Wars babe casting? Anybody? <laughs> a lot of brunettes in space, a lot of brunettes. Yes, I think this movie felt safe at every turn, not just in the character stakes, but also in the predictable one-liners and in the lack of original, like punchy humor. And you know what? We'll never know which parts of this movie were done by the more bold Lord and Miller and which parts were done by Ron Howard stepping in to clean things up. But I am pretty sure in a lot of moments you can kind of guess. There is a lot to be said about demystifying a character as iconic as Han Solo that fans have such a long standing love for. And I think that this movie was the movie that fans neither wanted nor needed. Having said that though, overall Solo is a fun and entertaining ride. I did have fun with it. I found myself chuckling along with the references. I was like, uh -huh, I see what you did there. Not going to be watching this one again anytime soon, but Alden Erin Reich definitely gets the thumbs up as a Han Solo for me. And if we are going to be seeing Han, young Han again in the future, which I am sure we will, then I am glad it is him and I am going to be on board just to see him and Chewie hang out nothing else. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget, you can comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Are you feeling that Star Wars fatigue or did you just go all in and have a good time for what it was? I'd really love to know. Don't forget, you can also subscribe to my channel here and keep up to date with all things movies and TV and I'll see you next time. Bye.